Hey everybody, this week we're trying out Ruiner, one of the free games from the Epic Games Store. The other one is Nuclear Time. Let's go ahead and get the first 10 minutes of Ruiner in and see what it looks like. We'll skip the backstory. Both these games are supposed to be top-down shoot 'em ups The last one is a lot of fun. Alright, the graphics on this one look really good. It's a 10 gigabyte game, so it's a little bit heftier than the other one. Uh, your master, 321, all systems online. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so far, a lot of preamble. Just let me shoot things, please. I am currently using keyboard and mouse. Something like this, I actually probably would use the controller more, but... I um, grew up on these on the arcades, you know. I'm used to my joysticks. <laughs> You got two friends that are just like going crazy. Ooh, that swing. Oh, wow. Look at that swing animation. That is cool. This disruptive thing of the boss coming in is just a nuisance. Okay. I'm already not liking how much it's trying to interrupt you. Gotcha. Let me do my thing. There is no swing timer on this. It's pretty fast though. Like on nuclear time, uh, the swing timer showed in the top left corner, but I'm not seeing it on this. Please don't hurt me. Okay, can I? No, you can't. Uh, they don't beg. <laughs> Let me hurt you. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, moving forward. The color palette is very cool. This like red post-apocalyptic thing. Look how even after the wall is up, you can see the colors the light showing through the it's done very well okay dash with and right mouse button oh, the dash works very well it's kind of like hyper life drifter sort of dashing another pass free game that is fantastic oh and that was hurt okay bombs hurt guys we have confirmation five three two oh, okay well then it's not by timer it's by close gotcha we are learning. The heels, I'll take them heels. I feel like, you know, this game doesn't need to be slowed down as much as it is right now. It's just such a slower game than perhaps. Oh, okay, that's cool. Hold on, slow time. I feel like Kylo Ren. Oh, there's a lot cleaner ways to do that. I did the messy way. But that guy is dead, so success? Yes. It's like PG rated. What the fuck? Okay, I get you. It's like, don't let your mom hear you use profanity. Once you get going, it's it's a lot of fun. It's just kind of this like slow down stuff that he keeps doing with the slow down time thing it is kind of meh. I really want a gun already. All right, I keep complaining about how slow it is, and yet my health is like dwindling because I'm playing very mess. Oh, there it is, health. What is this? Okay, okay, fill my energy meter. What will take energy? Let us learn. Open radial menu with left alt. Okay, so we have energy shield, kinetic barrier. Grid Converter, Ghost Break, Ghost Break, that sounds cool. Uh, supply Drop, Shock Launcher, Frag Thrower, Overload, okay, so can I just get some frag grenades in? Gotcha, put up the shield because we're going to be boring. Kill Boss, stop interrupting me, please, I want to play. So, right button, dash, space shield space is your energy ability all right let's check it out does not last forever holy cow okay, let's wait till that firing ends do those things reload no okay they do not reload apparently That was anticlimactic. I wanted to break those. Again, for all my complaining about anticlimactic and it slows, like, oh yeah, but she's almost dead. Okay, you have to actually stand on him while it heals you. 
that's cool. I don't mind. So that dash and swing at the same time is a very cool combo. I gotta, I gotta get better about popping out that shield when it's needed. Will I always be using melee weapons? He kind of feels floaty when you're like, if you look at how his body moves, it just kind of feels a little floaty the way the legs are connected. We have combat music is so, oh my god, this is annoying. The combat music and the uh, just traversing music are quite different. You see the little arrow that's around his body, we have like a compass. That's kind of interesting, I like that. Gives you a point of direction if you're not paying attention to your own like sprite. Or character. Or character. Ah, oh, finally. Thank you, sir. Eight rounds? Eight rounds, really? I need an infinite weapon. And not melee. Not melee. Okay, scroll. Gotcha. Melee. Gun. Melee. Gun. Go, 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 go. Well, oh, it's eight. Okay, gotcha. It's an infinite weapon. It's just eight rounds before reload. Now we're talking. Shoot him up, shoot him up, shoot him up. Oh, new pistol on the ground. Bro, back. Man, look at the blood, too. They do a cool effect. Look at how the, the blood splatters seem to be unique. They're not like uh, just a repeated animation. Let's, we'll, fi we'll figure it out next time we uh, stop. Okay, so see how like this blood splatter looks unique from that blood splatter over there? We have to look behind the stupid thing they keep doing. Those actually look like they're pretty unique. That's cool. Okay. Better gun? Sure, let's find out. Oh, feels better. Okay, let's check it out. Like, I'm never going to not use a gun again. This is a cool way to go. I'm already charged. Multi-dash! Hold RB. Set all dash waypoints with LB. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. We got a little bit of a strategy thing going on. And then release. Alright, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's like an extra thing. As long as the game's not dependent on that, that's cool. I can't stand when a game gets dependent on a little gimmick like that. Really, you're just slowing us down even more. I'm on your side. I can't kill you, so it's fine. You're all right. Oh, bigger gun! Dash the spotlight. Okay. Is there a reason you had to stop me to do that? Press E. Dash to safety. I'm in safety. Back here, safety. Waste all enemies. Oh, that gun is super limited. Maybe not. Wow. I died, and I'm talking smack the whole time, but I died. But I think that's going to be it for us, guys. Honestly, it kind of gives you a point of the game. Uh, of the two games, Nuclear Time is far better. It's just a faster pace, a lot of fun. You jump in, it's got that 8-bit, 16-bit maybe uh, kind of environment. Yeah, 16-bit. Really fun game. This one's also very fun. I just think it's going to take some time to get used to it. I don't really care for the art style or the controls or the gameplay. <laughs> and the music's not fantastic. But, hey, it's free, guys. Check it out. Might as well play a game that's free. All right, guys, we will see you guys on Monday with the next episode of the podcast. We have a special interview with Alex Schumacher coming up, comic creator. 